I am so excited to have Patricia Cornwell joining us again on the All Things Unexplained podcast. I'm so happy to be back. We had so much fun last time. So your newest book is called Identity Unknown. And by page one, I knew I was going to love this. And by page five, we're dropping information about UAPs and UFOs. And halfway through the book, there was a big surprise for me that I bet I know, a little bit. <laughs> I know what that surprise is. <laughs> yes. If it's really true that there are a lot more UAP or UAP UFO sightings these days. I'm sure those our friends up there going, what the hell are you doing down there? You are ruining this experiment. One of my most important consultants is a retired NASA scientist who's absolutely brilliant and he deals with satellites and electromagnetic energy. Flying saucers are real. I mean, we've tried to engineer them and including the one he was showing me, whatever gave us that idea. And why did that start after Roswell? There are also things out there that are behaving in ways that are reported by multiple people and phenomena that's picked up by multiple sensors. So it's not just an artifact from radar, but we get all kinds of things reporting the same thing of something that is going through the air that cannot be identified. And especially if it's behaving in ways that defy our technology in this book, there's an unidentified object that appears to have dropped somebody out. And that's the, the, the case that Scarpetta has got to respond to and do the autopsy on. And this thing was, is, was picked up by multiple sensors and radar. Something was out there. They don't know what it was. I mean, it is a house of horrors. Well, while I'm back in this private area, storage area being shown this, holding them in my hand, I see a drawer over there it's all taped up and it has a big red label on it that says, do not open. And I saw that the drawer, the little label on it said Roswell. And so this is real. This, this actually is real. happened. This is real. 